guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna be recreating some Victoria's Secret photos, but with a more body positive spin. So it's no secret that Victoria's Secret would never hire a model like me. They would never use someone who looked like me in a runway show, in product photos, on their Instagram. They focus on one body type. They focus on this one perfect ideal. And their whole brand is kind of about creating this illusion of the perfect body that every woman should strive for. And last year, the head of marketing at Victoria's Secret made this explicitly clear when he said that they would never use plus size or trans models because they are not part of a fantasy. Yikes, yeah, I definitely don't subscribe to that belief. And today I wanna to show that a plus size, mid size girl who's not a typical Victoria's Secret look can still rock those photos. Even if you do have that body type, there is so much that goes into crafting this perfect body on camera and on the runway that most people never get to see. You know, you just see this perfect body and you think it must be natural and effortless, but in reality, no one, not even those models themselves, naturally have that body. So I looked up everything that Victoria's Secret models do in preparation for runway shows and photo shoots, and I did absolutely none of it. <laughs> so first of all, Victoria's Secret models stick to a very strict regimented diet and workout plan where they're usually in the gym twice a day. Every single calorie, every single piece of food that's going into their body is planned for them by a dietitian. I went to the gym three times last week and I had a veggie burger last night for dinner and a protein shake for breakfast this morning. Of course, we all know that in photo shoots like this, you know, there's hair and makeup, but what a lot of people don't know is they use body makeup like full on like foundation all over your body to smooth every line, every wrinkle, every imperfection. And they airbrush muscles so that you look more defined. I'm a normal person. I have scrapes and cuts and bruises and scars and stretch marks and razor bumps. And I'm not gonna be covering any of that up because that's just real life. <laughs> they get spray tans and hair extensions and teeth whitening. I brushed my teeth this morning. I'm kind of tan right now from summer, but this is just my natural hair. And then one of the things that to me is just the perfect illustration that this is not natural or healthy is that these models completely cut their water intake up to two or three days before. So no water to try to dehydrate themselves so that they can look even thinner. Water is very important for you. I drink a ton of water. I've been drinking water all day today and I plan to continue doing that even if it makes me look bloated. I wrote down this quote from Adriana Lima um, about the water intake. She said, quote, no liquids at all so you dry out. Sometimes you can lose up to eight pounds just from that end quote. That is scary and not healthy and not good. And that is not something I'm going to be following just so that I can look eight pounds thinner in a photo. Another quote I wrote down from um, model Selena Ebanks. She said, it's all about creating the illusion of the amazing body on the runway. People don't realize that there are about 20 layers of makeup on my butt alone. So aside from the fact that, you know, they only choose one body type and one look, then there's also so much that goes into crafting this perfect body that you guys at home see. And today we're gonna be breaking all of that down. It's just me in my natural look. The only kind of makeup I have on my body, we put a little bit of highlighter and glitter on my boobs so that they like sparkle in the light. But I'm excited, you know, doing a launcher photo shoot is really out of my comfort zone. This is not something I would normally do, but I think it's really important. And I want to show that I can be beautiful and sexy, regardless of the fact that I'm not a size two and I don't have makeup on my ass. <laughs> So one of my favorite things about making these more like photo shoot to big production videos is that I get to work with like a really awesome team to make it happen. So we have my best friend Skylar, check out our podcast, link in the description. But she does all of like the producing, the costumes, making everything run smoothly. Tony on camera, Stephanie on hair and makeup, Urban over here on the camera, and Carly as our production assistant helping make everything go smoothly. So the first photo that we are gonna be recreating is this 2013 Valentine's Day shot of Barbara Palvin. She's She's got the little heart glasses, the pink and red lacy bra. I think the expression on her face is gonna be really fun to recreate too. But one of the things that Skylar and I kind of struggled with when we were planning this video is we wanna recreate Victoria's Secret photos, but I feel a little bit conflicted about giving my money to Victoria's Secret to buy the identical outfits. So what we ended up doing is we tracked down the exact products on resale sites like Poshmark and bought them from someone who was selling them secondhand. So we have this exact bra that I'm gonna be wearing. We have the heart sunglasses, the set all set up over there. So let's do it.
So in this image, she appears to be a little bit more compressed, a little bit larger than life. So I'm gonna use a telephoto lens to actually make you appear a little more, just more volume there. Cool. So a lot of lenses can actually distort what we believe to see what's in real life. Wow. So. I didn't know that. I knew that about angles, like up or down angle. I didn't know that lenses could yeah. like change, make you like thinner or fuller. Or... Exactly, so it's not always you. The camera can lie actually. That's, so. yeah, the camera does lie. Yep. <laughs>
and I want to push past that. Yes. For every girl who's walked into a Victoria's Secret fitting room to get their first bra with their mom, looked at that photo, and felt like they wanted to cry because that's not them. Yeah. So that's why we have to do it. That one. Perfect. All right, you can relax. That was fantastic. Wow. Woo! <laughs> I can't tell you how glad I am I didn't quit and cancel this photo. Like, I look at that photo and I'm like, I look good and I feel good. You look fantastic. You girl. look amazing. You look really good. Seriously. And I'm, and I'm glad that we did it. And I'm glad that I'm looking at the two photos next to each other because, I mean, I think this is a point we always come back to. There's not one kind of beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I think. Like, this is it. And I'm so, so happy that we chose this photo, even though it was really, really hard, because this is why I make videos, to be this person. And now I'm crying again, and we have to redo my makeup. <sighs> wow, okay, that was an incredibly emotional photo to shoot, but I am so incredibly glad that I pushed through it. This pose and the feather boa and the lingerie, it was just very outside of my comfort zone. And then on top of that, being compared to one of the top supermodels in the world in a pose that I already didn't feel super comfortable in, it was a lot. And not just being compared to a supermodel, but being compared to a highly edited, manufactured version of this supermodel. And the thing is, we could have done all of those edits to me too, to my final photo. Could have smoothed out the cellulite and the stretch marks on my thighs, could have airbrushed my arms to get rid of my uneven skin tone, could have pulled in my waist to give my back more of an arch, could have done away with the bags under my eyes, but then that wouldn't really be me anymore. This is me. This photo is really me. Cellulite and uneven skin tone and stretch marks and eye bags and all, that is me in this photo. It's not what society says, it's perfect, it might not be what Victoria's Secret is trying to perfect with their photos, but it's me and I like it because of that. And as hard as it was to take this photo and confront some of those insecurities I have, I can genuinely look at this photo and say that I don't wanna change anything. And that, my friends, is a breakthrough. So let's go into the next photo. Okay, so after that more challenging second photo, I am actually feeling really, really good and confident and ready for this last photo. I think this one is a lot more me in the facial expression and the pose and everything. It just seems really, really fun. So here is the photo we are recreating. This is Grace Elizabeth at the 2016 Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. So we were able to get almost the exact like bra and underwear set on Poshmark. It's a little bit different, but same idea, same color and then we have the knee high socks and the heels but the final touch the most important part of this photo is arguably the wings and those aren't just any regular Victoria's Secret wings they are covered in pink bows and Skylar Skylar come here come here Skylar handmade these wings like me and Kyle I want to give him credit. And, and Kyle her husband Kyle they went to Hobby Lobby got like $300 worth of ribbon and made these wings yeah. I can't believe it. It was a lot. And we're just gonna like get rid of them. No, no, I feel like we have to hang this in the office. Oh, my they're gosh. so cool. They're so cool. Modern art. I'm so excited. All right, I'm gonna go get into hair and makeup. You guys set up everything and we'll do it. perfect place that I want to end this photo shoot. Like, feeling good, like, looking like a Victoria's Secret angel in my own way. Like, this is, this is where I want to... Let it go. Yeah! Really? I think we're good. Is that a wrap? I think it's so. a wrap! That's a wrap! Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Team! Victoria's Woo. Secret <laughs> rejects on three! One, two, three! Another second to show you guys this photo because it is 
freaking bomb. Me and all of my curvy glory work in the runway. I love this photo. I love it. I love it so much. I love the way it was edited. I love the hair. I love the makeup. I love the pose. I love my body. I look at this photo and I'm like, hell yes, that is me. That is my body. That is the big stupid expression on my face with my hands out like I'm a Vita. I just love this photo. It's me. It's my body and it is totally different from anything Victoria's Secret would ever dream of putting on their runway. And you know what? That just makes it 10 times better to me. I'm so glad that I got to finish off this video with like a power shot and I'm so glad that I get to create videos like this and share it with you guys. Each of these photos was hard for me to take at some point in the process but I look at them and I am just so proud of who I am, what I look like, and what I'm creating on the internet. I think it can be hard a lot of the times. Like I talked about this during filming but walking into that Victoria's Secret dressing room as a teenager looking at the stunning photos of these beautiful women on the wall but only seeing that one kind of beauty. And I think what I'm really trying to do with these recreating photos videos is not taking away from the beauty and the glamour of the original photos, but just showing a different way that you can look in that style. There's not one type of beautiful. We are all different and unique. And I think learning to come to terms with those differences and really embrace them instead of trying to hide them is a big turning point, especially for me. You know, I strive for body positivity every day. Some days are harder. Some some days are easier and this day was kind of both. Taking these photos was definitely hard for me at points but in the end I feel beautiful and confident and I'm so so glad that I did it. So if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see me recreate more photos make sure to give it a thumbs up and you can check out that playlist linked right there or in the description to see all the other episodes that I've done in this style. Also the shirt that I'm wearing is my merch. You can get it at thecurvycrew.com. It's a nice little boxy crop top perfect for summer. I've basically been living in it and we also have a bunch of other items so be sure to check that out it means a lot to me it's a great way to support the channel but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you very very soon with another new one be confident love your body you got this i'll see you next time bye